This is the free motion quilting tutorial for Dandelion Puff. This design is being sponsored by Free Motion Basics for Beginners, a two disc DVD that covers all of the basics to free motion quilting. Check out this DVD at freemotionquilt.com. Now let's get back to Dandelion Puff. This design is stitched by first starting with a long wiggly line and then at the end of that line you're going to branch off with kind of a dandelion um, or a daisy flower. Just several teardrop shaped petals surrounding that end, um, kind of making that puff ball look. And you're just going to kind of quilt around in that circle and then you're going to stitch back echoing that first long wiggly line. Then you're going to pivot off that starting point and just simply echo all the way around your dandelion puff. And the echoes are what really uh, make the dandelion stand out. They make it um, really show off on the surface of your quilt and create a really pretty texture around it. So definitely take your time when you're stitching your echoes. This is a pivoting design, so what you're doing is you're just simply stitching back to that starting point and pivoting, but you might end up with some kind of weird areas around, and in that case you're just going to have to kind of wiggle in and stitch some curvy lines and try and keep it as consistent as possible. Here I'm stitching kind of a short little dandelion puff that will kind of fit into this little corner and fill in this area evenly and then I just simply echo around it until the entire space is filled. Designs like this, pivoting designs that work this way, generally work in any area of your quilt, and this will too. I wouldn't put it anywhere too tight, like a really, really tight, tiny area, maybe around um, a stencil design, that probably wouldn't be the best idea, but you could definitely put this um, over around an applique, you could definitely put this in the sashing of your quilt, around a block, um, really anywhere that you want to put it, and it's going to look great because it has this nice floral texture. One thing I like to do is kind of uh, contrast a floral texture with a piecing design that's more angular. So if my piecing design has a lot of straight lines and sharp angles, then I'll pick a quilting design that has a lot of flowing lines, a lot of curves, flowers, and that kind of thing. And the contrast is really interesting because it definitely adds a more movement and interest to the surface of your quilt. So here you can see I'm kind of working my way down and how I filled that whole odd corner area is really just simply a matter of stitching lines that stay consistent with everything else. Um, no quilting area is perfectly suited for the quilting design. It's you know more suited for the pieced blocks and that kind of design. So you're just going to have to kind of wiggle in there and figure it out as best as you can. And it's really up to you how dense you want to make your quilting. You certainly don't have to stitch it as uh, densely, as close, or as tight together as I do. And this would look great on a larger scale. So if you started out and your dandelion uh, to start with was maybe about three inches, um, like that puff that I'm stitching right now was about three inches in diameter, and then you had about a half of an inch between the lines of quilting between each echo, then this would definitely take up a lot of space on the surface of your quilt and it would really fill a quilt quickly. So bearing all that in mind, here's what it looks like whenever you finish Dandelion Puff. Would you like to learn how to free motion quilt? Find over 250 more videos and designs on free motion quilting at freemotionquilt.com.